This is the Toyota Corolla, it's a 3SG E and I'm super excited for this video because you guys have been requesting this video quite some time now and I'm super privileged that I get to do this. Enjoy the video. The video you are about to watch came out a little bit blurrier than expected. That's because there was something iffy with my GoPro and the light was hitting in a certain way. I'm very frustrated by it, but I am in the process of upgrading Liberable to full 4K by the end of November. So Liberable will be shot in 4K and you guys should be able to see 4K on your TVs as well. It might be 1080 or 4K scale down to 1080. Um, I'm filming this car, we're gonna do this car for Monday, we guys are finally getting 3S GTE updated, I think the car's finally ready now, the wheels and things went on and whatnot, not. but anyway, I've been wanting you guys to see this video for the longest time, this Corolla beams, I hope you enjoy the video. Hello everyone, welcome to Liverable, I'm here with Mr. Junaid Singh, how are you bro? Good yourself man. Lovely, if you guys remember, Junaid was actually with me on the channel, last week you can click the card. If you haven't already seen the vlog video that I did with this car, the clutch unfortunately started slipping. Um, Junaidin had the, the clutch uh, replaced and now we're back here. Yeah. <laughs> what type of clutch did you go for, Junaid? Uh, the six buck button. I think that's the only clutch that would actually hold. Voila, six <laughs> buck button. Yeah. Holy crap. Solid button. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very aggressive. Yeah. Junaid, and also, um, what was your... Why Corolla? Why this particular Corolla? As I mentioned in the, in the previous video, oh. uh, it was... I, uh, Sloantran was actually my, my first car that I, that I had mm. back when I was growing up still. Mm. And, um, you know, it's always been a, a dream of mine to own one again. And, of course. And, um, like I said, this car, I, it was a friend of mine's car, and yeah, I've been chasing it ever since, like about six years ago. So, and with the reliability, obviously, of these cars, yes. Yeah, no, look, it was maintained and looked after. Yeah. You can drive forever. Mm -hmm. So, uh, if you keep your hand on the car, you're gonna yeah. drive forever, basically. Guys, of course, there's one thing about this car that's a bit different. That's why we're here today. Is this 3 SGE engine? Um, quite a quite a lovely little engine. Um, they make about. I think it comes in the Altesses, yeah. the beams, dual beams. They make about 160 or 170 odd kilowatt from the factory, so it's got a healthy amount. Yeah. Um, the only catch so far that I can see with this engine is modifying, because parts are so expensive. Yeah. Um, and no one's really bringing cams in, even doing the cut cam thing. Yeah. Or I think what you were telling me, the easiest thing to do now is perhaps to boost the car? Yeah, no. Look, there's not a lot of boost uh, beams that, that I know of at yeah. least. But um, I think that I'm gonna give that a, a shot. Go. Yeah, yeah a shot. Guys, we are riding on some really lowered uh, suspension here. And this car springs isn't too healthy. Um, so, yeah, forgive us if uh, you can't hear because <laughs> of the jumping and stuff. So, already I can tell um, what gearbox you're running uh, tonight. Uh, the original 6 speed beams box. Two, two beams. This box, right, the, this car's got so much torque, like I'm in 5th gear, at 80 I'm going to down a little bit and the revs just climb. Obviously if I gear down... Yeah. So it's not... I'm surprised at the amount of torque this engine's got. Yeah, and, uh, I think it's because of the fuel mass flywheel that we've still got in yes. so what kilowatt did you make on the dyno? Um, we tuned the car last, it made 138. Um, but obviously, you know, we had some problems on the dyno. Yeah. And um, the car hasn't been back to a dyno ever since. Mm -hmm. So it actually still needs a proper tune. Exactly. But um, yeah, we'll probably make about 145 for the yeah. proper tune. Yeah. That'll be okay. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's wheel power. So mm -hmm. if you work it out, it's probably about 
170, 160 somewhat. Yeah. At the crank. So yeah. it is about normal. Yeah, it is the, about the, normal. Yeah. Into the stock so, yeah. so I want to talk quickly about the phenomenon. Or ph I don't know how you say it, but like this car has got a special place in many South Africans' hearts. I recently, not recently, but last year I put a post up on Facebook. Um, that said, every time a car, car like this comes on the line of Kivani, all the people's for you understand, you see boxing, no. <laughs> oh, I'm, like, I'm like, oh, why are you saying that? Oh, you know the mic? <laughs> yeah, sorry, the mic fell out. Like, there's this cultural thing around this car that South Africans just love. Like, everywhere you go with this thing, they're breaking their necks for it. Look, I promise you, at every robot that has stopped with this car, I'm getting somebody rooting for me, giving me a thumbs up, or Yo. somebody telling me to rev the car, or to spin the car. Yeah, so that's on, on a daily. I think it's more spinning thing now. Yeah. So that is why my tires are not the <laughs> <laughs> After what you did there. Nah. Let, me, let me show you what he did. Yeah. <laughs> Like you say, just slap a 2 chain in the car super fast. 
Uh, There's a lot of things to take into account, ratios and all that things. Yeah, this because management, yeah, engine mounts. Yeah, because I know there's there's quite a few two days even running at Kilani. Yeah. And if you look at the times that they're running, um, you get VTX at as faster. Yeah. You know what I mean? So traction, um, ratios, all that things is important. Mm -hmm. So your car can make super power, but if you can't put the power down there, exactly. you know what I mean? Any car I think can go fast if you have money. Yeah. I mean, you, uh, this guy actually built a 2J. Unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunate things happen. Yeah. And, um, yeah, that's all the car. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, it's one of those things. You win some, you lose some. Exactly. And I mean, with most bolts, that happens because once the engine's in, the gearbox is in, the management is in, now it's tethering. Yeah, no. Nah. Oh, and that tethering is frustrating. It cost you money, I promise you. Very frustrating. Frustrating time, <laughs> money, and tears, and everything. I mean, even this morning, before he came actually to bring this car to me again, the fuel pipe burst. Yeah. Which was quite sad. Yeah, we, we checked everything on the car yesterday. The car was fine, everything was cool. Mm -hmm. This morning I started the car up, the car idle home. And as I walked around the car with the fuel smell, I looked under the car and I checked all the fuel running out of the bottom <laughs> oh of the car. <laughs> and you know, there's new fuel line that we put in like two months ago. Yeah. New fuel line, new clamps. I smell like the way this car sound. Yeah, and it's just tall. Before I put the 17s on, I had the 13s on. Yeah, oh! Oh, I promise you that the, with the 13s on, this car is aggressive. Yeah. I wheel spin this car like third gear out and I'm still spinning sideways. Yeah. That is, for me, that is fun. That's <laughs> adrenaline, that is fun. <laughs> but with the 17s, it's a bit more time. It's nine J's, it's heavy wheels. Yeah. Time the car, but... Guys, just so you know, there's no forward-facing camera. Um, I tried it, I did, I saw all the comments, I did put one on. Unfortunately guys, in South Africa, it did get me into a bit of hot water again. So, um, I'm rather going to stick to this Ford. And unfortunately, we're not America, yeah. we're not Europe. Um, if it's a POV video, then yes, but obviously you won't be able to see us talking. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm rather going to play it safe, especially for them, because these cars are registered to them and I can get them into hot water. And it's best not to show what yeah. we're doing, but we are somewhere in Mexico at the moment, <laughs> so it's not really much of a problem. Yeah. No. The flight was long, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Especially to get the car here was difficult. Yeah, but, um, yeah. <laughs> Maybe, guys, if you guys want to see an update on this car, click the card in the top uh, corner of the screen and then say yes or no. Let me know if you must do an update on Janet's car once the car's all sorted and whatnot. Um, but Janet, thank you so much for this opportunity. I really appreciate it. Shot for that awesome burnout. <laughs> no problem, that was a pleasure. <laughs> I, I think I, I, I came here just to do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Hit the thumbs up button. We try to get Liberable to 100,000 subscribers by next year. So do subscribe. Be free, be you. Liberable, out.